what looks general is mainly our ignorance. Uh, so yes. if you take, say, radic uh, behaviorist uh, studies of uh, pigeons, you know, mm -hmm. uh, one of the main experimental animals, uh, you know, they thought they could do things like train pigeons to, say, play ping pong or something. But when these were analyzed more closely, what it was discovered was they're actually taking the instinctive behavior of pigeons. Pigeons peck. That's something they do instinctively. And you can slightly modify their pecking behavior. So it looks to you like they're playing ping pong. Yes. The pigeon just thinks it's pecking, you know. And in fact, if you look even more closely, it turns out that what's considered pecking is actually at least two different, totally different systems. One is pecking and one is uh, is swallowing water. They look the same, but from the pigeon's point of view, they're totally different. Yes. And, you, if you, and you have to distinguish these from each other. And in fact, you know, the whole behavioral system, behavior system just totally collapsed, uh, just from internal inquiry into the nature of uh, uh, actual behavior. Instant, incidentally, when I say it collapsed, I don't mean it disappeared. So it's still very widely believed in cognitive sciences and among the general public and so on. In fact, it's even taught in universities. It shouldn't be, but is. Would you say that the various and very famous ape language experiments are the same, like uh, the pigeons playing ping pong? Or the similar? ape language experiments are an interesting illustration of uh, the pathology of human uh, Inquiry. Uh, it, it, I mean, the whole idea is absurd. I mean, it's as if we were. Say, well, there's been a lot of very good work on bee communication. You know, von Frisch, famous work, Nobel prizes. They do all sorts of strange things. Uh, you could train graduate students to do something like the waggle dance of bees, <laughs> um, and they do a pretty good job. You know, they wave their <laughs> arms around and run over there. And stuff. But the whole idea is ludicrous. I mean, you would learn nothing about bees that way. You would just learn it's possible to get a, some superficial uh, similarity to something bees do. I mean, but when you, humans, we refuse to study rationally. I mean, we're willing to study insects rationally. When we turn to the study of humans, we become totally irrational. Uh, so you do things in the study of humans that would be a joke if you did it with, uh, say, insects. And that's what the ape language is. I mean, you're sort of training these poor animals to do something which very superficial, <laughs> which they can't do, you know. Yes. So they can kind of mimic a few simple things. Um, as I say, graduate students could do much better mimicking bee communication, yeah. but it's, it's all a joke. And of course it gets nowhere. Uh, but, it, but even if it did get somewhere, it would be meaningless because you're trying to train them to do something they can't do. If they could do it, then the chimp, my, my granddaughter's chimpanzee uh, pet, she would, would be doing it. You just get the same data, why they do the same thing? Uh, but so it, it's, all, it's all basically a joke. I mean, it's taken seriously, it's written up in the science journals and so on, but that's, uh, that's a reflection of human irrationality. It has nothing to do with the sciences. Uh, a lot of this, uh, the same is true of a lot of the work in um, the computer science, trying to, what's called artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. which actually one smart biologist once called natural stupidity. Not <laughs> art, it's a, it's a, an effort to try to get automata to do things that look human-like, you know, like little robots from space wars or whatever. And y you can do things, I mean, you can, construct an automaton that'll do things that look something like what humans do, but it's utterly meaningless. It emulates I, it, but it's, it, it's, it's not the same thing. It's like we getting graduate point where, where you get behavior and study behavior again, but not what's You're not finding out what's going behavior. on inside. And the point is we understand that perfectly well when it's any non-human organism we're talking about. So to get humans to act like, say, apes, or dogs or bees, people would regard as ridiculous, correctly, because who cares, you know? Uh, and the uh, same with, uh, you know, automata that uh, act like dogs, let's say. 
I mean, you could, you can, people, bee scientists do construct mechanical bees, but for a scientific reason. Uh, they construct automata which act more or less like bees, but they want to see if the bees will swarm when they're led by a mechanical bee instead mm -hmm. of an actual bee. And that's important because that can test how the bee is doing it. Like, yes. are they following an odor trail or are they doing something else? Well, okay, you can test that by constructing a mechanical... So that's bee. once again the question, what, uh, what is the real research interest? Do you study the organism or do you study something that's yeah, some going kind on? Of, yeah, and the, in the sciences for, I mean, back to the Babylonians, you don't just study data. 